Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this Teams Administrator Associate course. In this lesson, we are going to learn about how to manage Teams settings. Managing team settings includes several options to control basic features of Microsoft Teams, including notifications and feeds, email integration, cloud storage options, and devices. These settings are organizational-wide settings and apply to all users and teams in an organization. Let me go and show you how and where you can find these options in the Teams Admin Center. So now I am on my Teams Admin Center. Go to the org wide settings and click on Team Settings. This is where you can find all the org wide team settings for your teams. So there are policies which the first one which let you control whether users can be notified about activities of other users in Teams. This email integration area lets you control if the setting is turned on, Teams users can retrieve an email address to send email messages that are. The file area will let you control the availability of Citrix files as third-party storage provider in Teams, similarly for Dropbox, Box, Google Drive, etc. The organizational area, this is where it shows or hide the organization tab in chat that shows additional data about a chat partner. Devices area will let you control things like whether users must provide a second form of authentication before entering a meeting. This setting is especially useful when using Surface Hub devices, where users can possibly join a meeting with the identity of a different user who is already logged on. Search by name allows you of scope directory searches from teams using exchange address books. Now that we have learned about team settings, in the next lesson, we are going to learn about how to manage private channel creation and policies. So we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.